Would you like to make money by changing your browser? You will be using the most secure and fastest browser. Let's catch up this Web3 revolution. Okay guys, you need to go to brave.com to download this and you just click on download brave and it's downloading and you just like install it. It's so easy. Anyone can do it. After you install it, your most important question comes up because I know that you don't want to change your browser. I know that because it's like you got used to the Chrome, you got used to or Firefox, Edge, whatever you have been using, you're used to it. But Brave imports everything. I mean like everything. Just it asks you, do you want everything from your current browser? And you just like tell Brave like, yes, I want my passwords. I want my bookmarks. I want my just like cookies, everything. I want everything from Chrome or Firefox, whatever you have been using. So Brave says, all right, I'll take all of it and I'll make you comfortable with Brave. That's what it says. So and then it takes everything. So it puts here, for example, I took all my bookmarks from Chrome and put here and I have all the passwords from Chrome. So I feel like I don't even need Chrome right now because I have everything. I have all my passwords. I can just like continue my life with Brave anyway. So it, it was too easy I, because like uh, first I downloaded Brave so long ago and I felt like, oh, who is going to just um just import everything? Who is going to just like write down all the passwords again and again? And then there's so many passwords that you need to just like, you don't even realize when you're using your own browser because like it, it remembers everything. So just like you don't need to do anything with that browser. But when you jump to the um, new browser, you just... You just need to write down everything, but you don't actually just like it's importing everything. But why would I use Brave? You gonna ask me. So here are the some simple answers. First answer is that it's safe. How come it's safe? Because um, this is the web tree. So you are in control in this one. So Brave is not using your data to show you advertisement on Facebook or uh, I don't know Gmail or it's like for example if you're using Chrome you know that you're gonna get some just like if you just like um, search something like shoes or watches you, you know that you're gonna get some emails on uh, Gmail about some shoes or watches whatever you have been searching so it's tracking you but Brave it's telling you like what do you want me to track it's just like asking you what you want brave to track so let's uh, let me show you this so um you just like click on settings here and then first of all you can just look at shields shields and it's telling you like trackers and ads blocking so just like do you want me to block the ads so it has its own ad blocker inside so and then you can choose the level of it. Do you want it to be aggressive? You can make it aggressive and it's going to block all the ads and trackers. Or if you, you can make it standard because you might need some of the advertisements over there. I'm using on standard so just like it's your choice. And then um, it's upgrading connections to HTTPS from HTTP. Uh, it's kind of another safety. So you can just like just walk around here. You can look everything. You can just change everything. Also, uh, when we're talking about uh, security, it's using IPFS. So what is IPFS? IPFS is the interplanetary file storage uh, file system I, I don't know I, it's standing for so one of the just like something like this so it's just like keeping all your data in different computers it's like just like blockchain it's just keeping your data in multiple places so that your data will be safe so IPFS it's it's really uh, high level security we can say also the second reason is the brave rewards it's really important actually while you're using brave brave is telling you look guys we are providing you this service providing you this browser but we also need to make money so um we gotta show you some 
advertisements but you're the one who is gonna choose what to see what uh, data to be used and so on so and how often do you want to see you can choose it because you will also make money out of these advertisements so you will see the ad you will get the money brave will also get the money so we, we are sharing the money with brave so brave is giving us some of the money in bot token bat so in here as you can see i've been using brave for like one and a half month not much so last month it was like my first month and i made like 1.11 but it's no big deal not a big amount just a bit but uh, considering the fact that brave browser is kind of new not not an old browser and it's web3 is also kind of a um, new thing so if you're thinking that um, web3 will be the um, future of the internet web web-based internet you may also think that brave will just like uh, develop a lot and also bat token will just like uh, gain some value and it may do some kind of like let's say it take it does the 10x so right now it's value around like 1.3 so if it does like 10x and if you have been using like brave browser for three years like let's say that you you used uh, brave browser for the next three years and consecutively you made like uh, 1.2 bats per year and at the end of three years you you will get like i don't know six seven hundred dollars uh if it makes like 10x so it's it's kind of rewarding because you won't be doing anything extra it's just the same thing you know like instead of google chrome you'll be using brave browser and you'll be making a bit of money at the end of three years you may think that all right this this money came from just like nowhere i i didn't do anything much so um it's kind of good and also if you think that it's it's no big deal and also instead of using this money you can just support the content creators for you instead of just like uh, taking that money you can just tip it to um some reddit users or just uh, to on reddit on twitter on github you can just like tip this money you can just give it to just like support the content creators for you so with bot tokens it's kind of good too because like you will support some uh, channels or just like you twitter users some people you want to support with no money actually they will get some money but you won't be paying any anything from your own wallet so it's kind of good also another reason that um brave is keeping your tokens in your wallet so you'll have your wallet and you just like just like metamask you will have your own wallet and if you want to take your bot coins it's gonna be in uh, gemini uh, you can use gemini to just like get those bad tokens i'm expecting some other exchanges to be just uh, implemented to be just like working with brave browser what else ah yeah so you've been using like let's say you've been using brave browser for a while and also you just think like okay all my passwords are here now so i want to use it in my phone too so just like how am i gonna just use it in the same wallet so you just like click on sync here you go to settings click on sync here manage your sync devices and then you just like click on add new device here when you just click on this it's giving you your wallet phrase so i'm just clicking here and you just like click on phone or tablet and then with your phone you can just like um, scan this code or if you're gonna use your um, computer it's giving you your phrase and so that you can just like uh, write down your phrase added on this blue area here there's my phrase and then you can just like uh, if you use if you're gonna use uh, set it on your computer maybe you want to set this on uh, your parents computer i don't know i don't know it's your choice so um, when you do that you can just sync all the browsers by the way i don't I, I don't recommend this i don't recommend you just like 
set uh, your own account, your own brave account to <laughs> your parents <laughs> or your just like relatives, computers. I just like don't do that, guys. And um, when you do that, all all the devices will be just like making some bad tokens for you, which is kind of good that you will be just like doubling your amount um, with your phone, with your just like other devices. That'd be good. Also, there is the social media blocking here. You can just like set these things too. Um, apart from the Brave browser, there is also Brave Talk. It's just like Skype, and you can just use it as a um, as Skype here. It's kind of I can say that it's kind of early development. As I've heard, I haven't used it. As I've heard, it's not that good yet. But I think it will be way better than Skype and Zoom. There's also VPN. Um, it's it's a paid service on your phone you can just see it easily i couldn't find here so i think it's just for your um mobile device device on and also it's just the apple device so just like you can use brave firewall and vpn uh, to be just like to add extra safety you can use that and if you want to show yourself in another country so you can just like use uh, brave vpn i think it's like 15 dollars a month so it's kind of, um, I don't know, a bit more expensive than other VPN services. But considering it's brave, so it, it, it must be good. Uh, I haven't used it actually. I think that's all for me to explain about Brave. If you have any questions about Web3, if you have any recommendations about Web3, we will make a lot of videos about Web3. So if you have any suggestions, you can just write it down on the comment section. Um, we are reading all of them and we are paying attention to your comments. We just like follow the recommendations over there. So feel free to write anything you want. So see you on the next video. Take care of yourselves. Mm -hmm.